86 bucks. If this is legit, if this is a real pair, that would be crazy. So uh, we just got the results back. We're starting a sneaker collection with just a $20 bill by buying and selling sneakers we pick up in thrift stores. And in today's video, we're in New York City. But before we dive into the New York goodness, we did actually make some sales over the weekend. In fact, we sold all four pairs of sneakers that we had in stock. However, the first sale that we made, I made a mistake. And because of that, we lost a little bit of money, which is my bad. I, uh, I didn't calculate things properly. And so when I got an offer, I accepted it. And the offer was way lower than I should have accepted. I wasn't thinking. And because of that, this sale ended up being a loss. But it is what it is. And unfortunately, this pair was the New Balance 990 V5s in the navy colorway. So we grabbed these shoes from Buffalo Exchange for $28, which in my opinion is still a pretty decent price but then I uh, accepted an offer for $30 actually what happened was I got an offer for $50 I sold the shoes for $50 the dude didn't pay I relisted them and then immediately got an offer for $30 for some reason I thought that it was the same price that I had sold them for before I don't know why uh, and I accepted it which meant that after fees we only brought in $25.82 and when you subtract the original purchase price of the shoes $28 you end up with a loss and of course that means we ended up with a net loss of $2.18 which is dumb. The good news is though, the other sales that we had ended up making us money, which of course is the goal. So uh, we ended up in the positive for this week. The next sale that we had was for those Air Jordan 8s, which we had picked up on the same trip to Buffalo Exchange as we had grabbed those New Balances. We grabbed these shoes for $28 as well. Now the good news was this time around, we sold these shoes for $68 and after fees and shipping, we were left with $60.12, which gave us a net profit of $32.12, which essentially means we more than doubled our money. In fact, we also made up for the loss of the New Balances, which I'm still, it's gonna take me a minute to get over. The next sale that we had was for the Air Jordan 1 mids that we had picked up from Plato's Closet for $20. I ended up accepting an offer for those for $40 on eBay, and after fees and shipping, we were left with $32.44 which gave us a pretty decent net profit of $12.44. And then finally, the last sale of the week were those Nike LeBron 6s that we picked up at Goodwill for $12.99. Now what's crazy about these shoes is that I didn't expect them to sell for a long time. They're kind of a less coveted colorway and they're also not a shoe that I think a lot of people are looking for at the moment, but hey, they ended up selling anyway. And what's weird about this one is that eBay seems to have calculated the shipping wildly off with this sale, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So because of that, we made a lot of money with shipping, which I don't usually like to do. So we ended up selling this shoe for $37. I think I accepted an offer for $37. But because eBay charged the buyer more than I think that they should for shipping, we ended up being able to add $55.98 back into the sneaker collection fund. But at the end of the day, because of that, we're left with a net profit of $42.99. Which means we now have $196.22 to go to New York with, which I'm stoked about. Oh, also, somewhat unrelated, but I figured you guys would probably want to know, I'm giving away 10 pairs of free Yeezys. So I'm going to be doing a whatnot live live stream this upcoming Monday, August 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Like I said, I'm giving away 10 pairs of Yeezys as well as selling some sneakers from my own personal collection. If you guys want to tune into that live stream, I've made sure to leave a link to that in the top of the description below. And if this is your first time checking out Whatnot and you use that link to sign up in the top of the description below, you get $10 worth of credit with your first purchase that you can spend on anything on the app. I'm in New York City today because of an apothecary photo shoot that we're doing for an upcoming sock collaboration. Make sure you stay tuned for that, it's coming very soon, it's gonna be sick. But while I'm in New York, I figured why not stop by some thrift stores because New York has some of the best thrift stores around and we got a really good sneaker collection fund. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so, some New Balances. Sketchers. Ooh. Nikes. I thought they were Kobe's for a second, but nope. Some EQTs. But unfortunately, that seems like it. That's too bad. We do have some Adidas Boost. How much for? 14 bucks. That's not bad. They're in good condition too. She's been washed. I'm not really going for much. I'm going to leave them. Also on foot today, we've got the ALD New Balance 550s in the red and navy colorway. In addition to that, we've also got the second collection of the F. Apothecary collaboration. Right now on foot, I've got the gray on gray pair. It looks absolutely fire. There's four colorways dropping. They all drop this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time if you guys want to pick them up on apothecary.com. 
So usually whenever I come to New York City, I find some sneakers that are somewhat high priced, but they usually end up having a pretty decent flip value. Like I can usually flip them for double what I buy them for, which tends to be slightly higher than it is in Philly. But at the same time, I usually pay a lot higher price. So in Philly at Plato's, I could probably pick up four pairs of sneakers for 20 bucks, flip them all for 40 bucks, which yes, is double. But in New York, I can pay 50 bucks for a pair of sneakers and flip it for like $120. The problem is there's a lot fewer of those sneakers because a lot more people are looking for them. So uh, New York's a little bit harder to find stuff, but it's definitely worth it if you can find stuff. Got some Jordans. I forget what colorway this is, but not too bad for 30 bucks. Oops. <laughs> Good thing they were tied together. Got some Vapor Weaves. Don't really know anything about these, but not really something I want to grab. Got some Air Maxes. I don't know exactly what type these are. They look like ones, but they're not. Oh, wait, hold up. They're the Air Max Day ones. Let me look these up. They're only 30 bucks. Got yeah, definitely cotton. Okay, so the first pickup of the day is this pair of Air Max 1 Air Max Days in the OG colorway. Now, they're not exactly Air Max 1s. They're a little bit different. The, uh, the midsole and outsole is slightly retooled. Obviously, the paneling in the upper is different. But I grabbed these for 30 bucks. And the reason I picked these up is because if you look at comps on eBay, they go for like 70 to 100. See, this is what I'm talking about. In New York, you can find stuff like this. It's crazy. So uh, I'm stoked for the rest of the day. I haven't found too much yet besides this. So hopefully we find something at like Buffalo Exchange or maybe one of the other thrift stores we eventually hit up, but we'll see what happens. Yo, this heat is ridiculous. I don't know why every time I go thrifting, it's just like 90 plus degrees. It's every single time. This is episode four and it's every single time. I can't wait for the winter because at least in the winter, although it'll be cold, I won't be sweating. And I prefer not to be sweating. So this sucks, man. In the window, they got some Nikes. We got some Air Force Ones in black and yellow, some Vans. Yeah, not cheap. But they're also not crazy expensive. Got some Ultra Boost mids. I don't know, they don't really move for much. I'm just going to Undefeated. Whoa. Okay. Fine, that's not bad. I'm gonna have to grab these. So as crazy as it is to find this, I just don't know. It's like kind of a gamble. On eBay, they're like going for 80, but also like 120. So I don't really know what to do. Maybe I'll leave these for now and come back and grab them. Got some LeBrons too. Ooh, look at these. Not bad, how much? 28. All right, so I almost just lost it in there. So behind the counter, there was a pair of Bread Air Jordan 11s that you guys just saw in store. I'm not 100% sure if they're legit, but uh, I bought them for 86 bucks. And the good news is there's a five day return policy. If uh, I return them to Buffalo Exchange, I get store credit. So I'm gonna get them legit checked. Hopefully they're legit because if they are, we got one of the shoes from our clock. I mean, they're, they look fine, but I don't know, that's the problem. Seriously though, it's crazy, 86 bucks. That's nuts, for a pair of Breads, if this is legit, if this is a real pair, We've got a crazy, crazy come up. I just hit myself in the face with them. I'm gonna go get these legit checked and hopefully they are good because that would be crazy if they are. I, I, whew, that'd be nuts. Okay, so legit checks in. Now we just gotta wait and see what happens. Hopefully it works out. So uh, we just got the results back for the Air Jordan 11s. And they're legit. I can't even believe it. We grabbed a pair of Air Jordan 11 breads from Buffalo Exchange for $86 and they're legit. That's absolutely insane. I cannot believe this. This is like a $300 shoe. This is insane. And uh, now we have a shoe for the clock, which is crazy. Now this isn't the first colorway of the Air Jordan 11s to release. Obviously that was the Concords, but this released in the first release year of the Air Jordan 11s. I believe these released in like April of 96, and that was like the same year cycle of the Air Jordan 11. So this does technically qualify to be an OG Air Jordan 11 colorway, not the first, but an OG. So until we get a pair of Concords, this will be on the clock. This is gonna be the first shoe on the clock. I can't even believe it. This is crazy. This is so crazy. That was the most insane New York trip when it comes to thrifting I've ever had. And I've been to New York a lot to thrift. I've even lived in New York and thrifted in New York. But I mean, literally, those are some of the best finds I've ever had. But really quick, let's go over the pickups for this week. And the first pair that we grabbed was this pair of Air Max 1 Air Max Days. It's got my birthday on the tongue, so if you guys didn't know, my birthday is Air Max Day. Grab these for 30 bucks. I wish they were my size. I wish they were a size nine. They are not, they're size 10 and a half because I honestly would probably keep these. I don't have any Air Max Day Air Maxes and uh, I like them because they have my birthday on the tongue. So it would have been nice if these were my size. They're in really good condition. I think I can flip these for like 
Honestly, like 70 or $80 because they're in such good condition. I think I just need to clean them a little bit on the midsole and uh, try and clean up that mesh a little bit. I'd like to throw these in the washing machine, but because these have suede on them, that would actually ruin the suede. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm just gonna try and get out the staining on the, uh, the toe with um, just like a scrub brush. But we'll see what happens. These are a really nice pickup and for 30 bucks, can't go wrong. Really, really happy with these. I think I grabbed these at No Relation Village in Manhattan, I think is the name of the thrift store. I'm not 100% sure though. But of course, the pair of sneakers that literally made the entire trip to New York worth it was this pair of Air Jordan 11 brands. This pair I bought at Buffalo Exchange for, I'm sure you guys have heard it a million times now because I'm sure I've said it a million times filming this video, but 86 bucks. That's crazy. And as you guys saw, I legit checked these on the Unboxed app, which by the way, if you guys have not checked out the Unboxed app, you absolutely should. There's a link in the description below. I'm a part owner of the app. The app can do a lot of amazing things like legit check sneakers, categorize your sneaker collection, and you can also sign up to get your sneaker collection insured, which is actually very important. But yeah, it's a really cool app. You guys should absolutely check it out. And uh, I legit checked these on there and they were legit, which is crazy. I really, really did not expect them to be legit. I mean, I didn't see anything on the shoes that made me think that they were not legit, but um, the fact that they were in such good condition, I mean, there's some, there's some scuffing on the midsole and uh, the upper definitely has some creasing. There was nothing on here that made me think that they were fake. The last pair of bread 11s that I bought from Buffalo Exchange were fake. I was able to tell because the shape was off and also the jump man was faced the wrong way. And I think I paid 60 something, maybe it was 80 as well. I think it might've been around 80 bucks. That was in the last season of the show. But this time around we grabbed the legit pair and we can put it on our Jordan clock. And this is the first shoe to make our Jordan clock. I'm gonna clean these guys up a little bit, just like kind of scrub the midsole. But that's really about it. That's really all I can do to be honest. And then I guess throw them on the clock. To be fair, I don't have a clock yet and that's something that I think I'm gonna do in the next couple episodes I think I'm gonna get maybe one or two more pairs and then build the clock because I do need to buy a bunch of shelving and then find a place in the studio to actually put the clock, which is gonna be a bigger task than uh, I think I'm ready for but I guess for right now I can throw these up on the shelf behind me and this can sort of be the beginnings of the clock and so every episode of the $20 sneaker collection I'll have these guys sitting back there and you guys can see where we are in the series There we go it's kind of nuts that we got one of the shoes from the clock already. I can't believe it. I was really thinking we were gonna have to buy everything for resale, but we actually found one while we were thrifting, which is just even better. Now, unfortunately, even though we grabbed one of our goal sneakers for honestly a great price, we do have to subtract this price from the sneaker collection fund. And unless we end up selling the sneaker, which like I said, I don't think that we will, this is just kind of lost money now. So the sneaker collection fund is definitely at a very low point and we kind of have to restart the whole thing again, which I know a lot of people are excited about because that's sort of the fun of the series, going to thrift stores, going back into the trenches, finding cheap sneakers and flipping them. It got so boring when I had tons of money last season and now we're never really gonna have tons of money. We're just always gonna have to kind of restart. So that's kind of exciting. And as of right now, the only sneaker that we have for sale is the Air Max One Air Max days and that's it. Not gonna lie, kind of scary to be honest, but we are in a better spot than we were in at the beginning of the series, so it's not all bad. And as far as the sneaker collection fund, we currently have $80.22. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the entire episode for today. Once again, if you guys wanna check out our brand new Apothecary collaboration with FDOT Collection 2, it drops officially tomorrow, Friday the 12th at 11 a.m. Eastern time on apothecary.com. It's an absolutely insane collection and it's definitely worth checking out. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.